Another October show is finished. And for family and friends that couldn't make it, I'm going to do a quick walk around with a video. These are banners. Hard, everything is complicated. It's all hard to explain. I saw these things in a something like these in an old museum of archaeology, and they caught my attention. I've later seen them in some temples. The uh, name of the show is Mandara, and a lot of people ask me, "What is a mandara?" I guess the real answer to what is a mandala is nobody knows what a mandala is. I mean, it's too old a thing. A lot of people put their own meanings in it. The first time I heard of a mandala was a Peter, Paul, and Mary song. I was in elementary school, an anti-war song. Mandala is perhaps was brought to Japan. Let's see, I don't know how many years ago. Kobo Daishi? Shingon. Shingon sect of Buddhism uses a mandara for Buddhist education. This is a plum tree mandara. And they don't read about it, they look at it. My idea of a mandala is a many-layered thing. <clears throat> There's certain patterns and designs that are used in mandala, and I use those. I am not Buddhist. My paintings are not Buddhist paintings, although mandala is claimed by Buddhists. Shingon especially in Tibetan. This one is a very standard mandala design, although probably wouldn't be recognized as such by Buddhists. Nine images. Up, down, right, left. North, west, south, west. North, east, south, east, and center. Nine images. That is very standard for a mandala. And these are the main paintings. And the main paintings are all done new and original paintings, but the frames are quite old. I was going to throw them out, actually. I'd had them for 15 years. Beautiful old wooden frames, but nobody likes old frames, and anytime I put something in an old frame, nobody bought it, so I was going to throw them out, but they were just too well made. So instead, I just painted over them. In this painting, you get a something that probably doesn't happen in Japanese art. The center is a sumie, an ink painting, Around the edges is our Nihonga, Japanese tempera, and on the far outside of the frame is an oil painting. I don't think those three mediums have ever been combined in a painting that I've seen before. This is a local slope. The Fuji Mizaka and the Fuji's gone now. It's kind of a collage also. This is a big theme this year. Some big batteries. This is actually one from last year, though no one seemed to recognize it. There's an LED set, an LED array inside, so it lights up inside so you can look through. People ask me, what's the meaning of this? Again, it's the nine images, if you count them, they're the same Mandara nine. But Buddhists don't use LEDs that much. This is the smallest mandala, and I was shocked it didn't sell. It was cheap. Too simple. I liked it. I'm not complaining about sales. Sales were really good this year. I sold too many. This is a year-old painting. This one's a year-old painting. And this is also standard mandala style. Nine images with other images radiating and phases of the moon all around. Although the mandalas don't have phases of the moon. And this is my wall of fame. A bunch of old paintings, a couple of new etchings in there. The newest etching was this year is a horse year, Chinese and Japanese year animal. 
this here's a horse that I'm a horse here, so it had kind of special meaning. This gal's been in the undercover for a while. She came back out. This is my sales gallery. Postcards, books, maps. Sales were brisk. Well, that's it. 2014. Mandara, October, Yanaka, Tokyo. Thank you very much.